Hello there, thanks for stopping by. So, as you might know, many lava lamps contain one or more metal springs or coils at the bottom of the bottle. According to the FAQ of the major manufacturer Lava, the purpose of these coils is to accelerate the melting of the lava. I was curious and wanted to know how essential these coils really are and how the lamp would work without them, so I decided to do a short experiment. I set up my Mathmos Astro and recorded a 3 hour time lapse of the heat up phase followed by some real time footage of the fully formed flow. Then I turned off the lamp and removed the coils using a piece of bent aluminum wire. I am showing this process here a bit longer because I think it's quite fascinating to watch. From the outside of the bottle it always seems that the lava has a thick, almost honey-like consistency but getting to the inside reveals how thin it actually is. After removing both the coils, I let the bottle cool down for 24 hours and then recorded another 3 hour time lapse of the heat up and another bit of real time footage with no coils in the bottle. Alright, with all that said, let's go ahead and have a look at the results. This is the time lapse footage of both variants, the one with coils on the left and the one without coils on the right. During the heat up, the no coil version shows some explosive activity quite early, around the 20 minute mark, while the coiled variant does something similar only around 45 minutes. I'd guess the difference in timing is because with no coil to transport the heat from the bulb deeper into the wax, the heat is more concentrated on the outer layer, thus melting it a bit quicker. After that initial phase, the coiled version seems to catch up and get going a tiny bit faster, which could be explained by the superior heat conduction of the metal leading to slightly more heat entering the bottle from the bulb. Though, to be fair, the difference is almost non-existent. From around one and a half hours on, both variants start showing consistent flow that appears quite similar and doesn't change substantially until the end of the time lapse at 3 hours. Now comparing the fully developed flow of both variants, while one could see a slightly more active flow in the coiled version, the difference is negligible as well. Overall, to my eye at least, the lamp performs almost identically with and without coils. Without actively looking for it, 
in a direct side-by-side -side comparison, I think there is no way I'd ever notice anything. Honestly, I was hoping for a little more spectacular result than that, but well, I guess that's how science works sometimes. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day.